So there's a fish that I'm pretty obsessed with. It's an ancient fish that had disappeared for 66 million years before a handful of people found different remains of them around the world. One of those people happened to be my grandfather. So Patrick, you know what fish I'm talking about. Of Tep, if you don't, it's the coelacanth. It's an ex uh, what believed to be extinct uh, fish for, like I said, 66 million years. Super cool. My grandfather found one on a fillet table in the Comores and had it preserved and shipped, and it turned out to be one of the first ever whole non-rotten specimens. So like a huge find scientifically, especially for my old granddad who was like, that's a weird looking fish. And yeah. um, <laughs> Well, can you pull up a picture of a coelacanth? Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's super Yeah, look at looking. that thing. Yeah, isn't that great? Are um, they rare? I mean, I mean, are they very, very rare to see in the wild? Oh, hugely so. Yeah, I mean, they weren't yeah. even, you know, we didn't even know there were any around until whatever it was 60 years ago. Um, <laughs> and now uh, there's a couple places. One is Sudwana Bay in South Africa, which I'm pretty sure this famous image is from, uh, where if you do see how this guy has three or four scuba tanks, you basically have to do a 600 foot dive. You have to do a tech dive and get down maybe 300 foot. I forget, but something like well beyond the realm of a normal scuba dive. And there's a couple wow. spots where they found them and filmed them, but it's, Dang. you know, it's like, it, yeah. we didn't even know they existed, let alone getting these kind of images. So this is a real one off right. kind of shot. But, um, but the news, the thing I wanted to talk about, the thing that's so freaking interesting, you see the size of that coelacanth, right? And that's even like a little forced perspective, like the divers behind the fish. Yeah, it's, like it's like a like five foot a five long foot. fish. Yeah. yeah. It's like a five foot long, you know, maybe 40, 50, 60 pound fish. You know, it's a big fish, big fish. Yeah. Yeah. But, but baby birds, they just found out that in Morocco, I believe, I better check that. Yeah, Morocco, they just discovered that there used to be a coelacanth the size of a great white shark, 17 foot long coelacanth. Imagine wow. one of these things, 17 foot long. Will, do me a favor, pull up a picture of a coelacanth head or face or mouth so you can see how dinosaurish this thing is. And now imagine this thing, slow as it is, swimming around at 17 feet long, eating things. I mean, this is just super dope. It's so cool how, like, just like, you go back to 60 million years ago, everything was huge. Mm -hmm. You know, like, everything was just like, yeah, there, there was an elephant back then that was 400 feet tall. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. That, everything oh, was wow. bigger. Face of everything was meaner. Yeah, they're crazy oh, looking. Bro, a seventeen. I th I feel like a seventeen foot version of that. You're on the menu, for sure. No <laughs> question. Absolutely yeah. no question. No, a hundred percent. I'm not kidding. Now they are very slow moving fish. They're really interesting. Actually, they they ride ocean currents. They use very little energy to swim. And I don't know if the one that was seventeen feet long did this, but they can swim upside down. They could swim head down head up uh basically like any way which to someone that doesn't know fish that's very unusual right a fish yeah. just swims like a fish not yeah. having its head down or head straight up or on its side uh so i think they people used to think they were always sickly when they found them yeah look at that fucking lovable face uh, oh, man. <laughs> dude it's like a blob fish with teeth Yikes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I just, you know, look, there's not much more to the story than that. A bunch of archaeologists dug up some bones. We're like, wow, this is from a coelacanth. Giant you know, when coelacanth. you compare it, yeah, when you measure it out, it's a 17 foot long coelacanth. And I just imagine if my grandpa had been sitting in the Comores and up came a 17 foot one of these things. I think that would I'll have tell been. I'll tell you, bonkers. the fact that your grandfather, you know, the fact that your grandfather, found, you know, had that moment happen is a huge part of the reason that we ever got to do Extinct or Alive or, or the Shark Week shows. Because right. when I went to Animal Planet with you and was like, this is the guy for the show, they were like, ah, he's a little cocky. He's real cocky on Naked and Afraid. It's true. And then we told them the story about your grandfather. <laughs> they were like, that's too good to be true. That can't be true. And we're like, <laughs> you know, they found it, you know, they looked into it. It's like, true. Go look it up. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, okay, we'll do the show. Yeah, so, that's had your funny. grandpa not been in that fish market, we wouldn't have uh, we wouldn't be having this podcast right now. Man, that's wow. funny. Kind of wish he had behind the scenes it. extinct or alive there for you. Yeah, if, no, if your I, grandfather it's... hadn't discovered that fish, Ratep would be dead. Yeah, what? That's that's wild. Huh? It's true. Well, because you'd be what on the streets about? right now, you know, doing oh, yeah. you know doing we won't say for crack, and you probably wouldn't <laughs> have made it this far. First and you wouldn't all, be the be lavish billionaire Bell. that you are now from all of our wild time success. From exactly. all of our billions of views on videos like this one. <laughs> <laughs>
cool. wildly entertaining. Anything else to say on that note? No, no you idiot. No? That That's was the it? end. That was when that you cut the, the video right there. You hit end well, instead. You just awkwardly lag. Now we have to have this in the video. Tell a friend about this terrible video. No, it's very interesting. I'll label it behind the scenes. <laughs> Patrick's I can't, get, I can't get all the way out of frame. Well, the microphone looks it's way hurt. better than your head, and it's, it's hurting my back. much more perfectly round. <laughs> I thought uh, it would slide. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>